Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Chopper. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about bullying. Bullying in schools more specifically, but just bullying in general. Uh, you know, what it is, who the people are, and how it can be stopped. At least in my opinion, anyway, we'll get to that near the end of the video. First we're going to start talking about who are the bullies. Now you see bullies a lot in school, you know who they are. They're the kids who often pick on other kids who are different than them. They tend to pick on kids who are not the same thing as them. They don't have the same characteristics or you know um, looks or whatnot. They pick on kids who are different. That's typically how it works. When I was in school, when I was in middle school, actually, I mean, I'm I'm in high school now, so this still thing kind of does exist. But I was never really a huge target of bullying, nor was I a bully myself. I mean, it kind of went both ways. I did like tease some kids sometimes. I kind of feel bad about it now. And also I was uh, picked on sometimes during middle school. That's besides the point. I was more, most of the time was more, I was more of the peacemaker. I would want, I would see a kid being bullied and I would either go up to the kid and be like, hey, that's not cool. You should just leave him alone. He's not even doing anything to you. And you know, I would just try my best to do that or I would go to the kid who like was being bullied afterwards and I would try to like comfort him and just be like, hey, it's all right. He didn't mean anything. He's just... He's just an idiot. Like, don't listen to him. I was that kind of guy. Now, I didn't really understand why bullies were so mean because I was raised in a house. I was, I mean, I would try to treat everybody kindness and with respect. That's how I was raised. But I didn't really understand how people could be so mean until uh, in middle school I had a friend. I guess you could consider him a bully. He he did pick on other kids, and he he really fit this stereotype of being a bully. And one night... I had the opportunity to go over to his house and stay the night and you know I got to meet his family his parents his brother his sister and I got there and I quickly realized how much like hate his parents like it, I don't know if I would say hate but like they were they were very mean and I understood why he was the way that he was because they would call him names and like treat him just like dirt it was awful I would not want to live under that you know environment and he was living that under that his whole life so he didn't know any other way that was his only way of knowing how to be raised and how to treat other people so it just really starts with parents parents are that's where it all begins if you don't have good parents that teach you morals and how to treat other people then you're gonna go out in the real world and you're gonna treat people how you were treated by your parents so I mean I had I had parents that raised me to be kind and respectful not to hurt others you know I was that's why I was raising like I said I didn't understand why people were mean until that night and the parents are supposed to teach their kids morals you know parents are like I said that's where it all starts they're supposed to teach your kids how to treat people and not to act disrespectful uh, things like that how to act in public how to present themselves in a nice manner but it's unfortunate because it seems like parents these days have got it mixed up See, they're not teaching their kids how to act from the home. They're thinking, they're thinking that sending them to school will put them in an environment with other people who are already know how to act and thus will teach them um, you know, what their job is supposed to be doing and that's how to act in public. But that's not how it is. See, school is just to give an education, a basic education, and you just happen to be there with other people who hopefully are raised in a similar manner if you were you know, a good kid. But it all starts with the parents. I can't like drive that home enough it needs to it all begins with the parents and not with the school you can't have the school teach you morals and then your parents teach you your math reading science and history that's not how it works like that's it's getting flip-flopped and the parents need to realize that it's really up to them to like train their kid to act right in public and you can really see how a kid's parents are the boat by the way he reacts it just it reflects on his parents really severely you can you can see what kind of environment he was raised in and uh, you know how that affected him in real life and some people never really grow out of it they become mean people in real life and the thing is it's a vicious cycle see if they were raised like that then they're gonna raise their kids like that and then so on and so forth they're gonna raise their kids like that you know it's just it doesn't stop until maybe one day you know you find a good batch of parents that are able to change a kid I don't know it it just becomes a bad cycle that's really hard to be broken but you can't depend on the schools to teach your kid how to be good and no not every kid is going to ever be good 
Like not every kid is going to be nice. And that's the thing that people don't understand is that no matter what set of rules you bring in, you can't make every single kid a nice kid and, you know, not to make fun of others. Because that's been happening since like the beginning of school. Like there's kids who are different, so people will pick on that kid just because they can. It's not something that you can change because not every kid is going to be nice. It was like my driving instructor told me that people would go to driving school and they would show up in his instructor car and not even know where the gas pedal was. Like he said, he told me that it's up to the parents to teach the kid how to work the car, how to basically maneuver the car, things like that. Um, you know, just be able to steer, drive around, know the basic functions of the car, and he's there to teach you the rules of the road and all things of that, like all the technicalities of the car. But he's not there to walk you from the first step. You know, he's there to pick you up after you already know the basics. And that kind of reminded me of the thing where parents are thinking that the school is going to teach their kid how to act and teach them morals, but that's just not how it works. And that's where the zero tolerance policy is really, really dumb, and it does not work. Unfortunately, my school has a zero tolerance policy, and there's a ton of bad things about it. One, The first thing I want to get into is that when a kid is being picked on or they get in a fight with another student, the one who starts the fight is going to get in as much trouble as the kid who is defending himself. And maybe the kid wasn't even defending himself. He might not even throw a punch at all. Maybe he was just sitting there and the kid came up and just decked him. And that kid who just got decked and he, he, he just had absolutely no defense is going to get in as much trouble as the kid who just decked him. And that makes no sense to me whatsoever because that gives the bully the mentality that if I go down, you're going down with me and that doesn't solve anything that just makes it really worse because the bully knows that if he gets in trouble then that kid's gonna get as much trouble as him and it doesn't even really matter and the zero tolerance policy issue also has more problems like it makes the it makes the uh, principal and all the other staff look good when they put it into effect so if they it, it's kind of lazy to be honest if they get rid of they suspend both students or right, I'm gonna give you a little scenario here so let's say uh, John goes up to David and he just without looking he just decks him right in the side of the face and, and David goes down his ears bleeding he's on the ground he didn't even know what happened like he's just on the ground he's about passed out because he got hit so hard principal sees it comes down picks them both up brings them to the office and they both get suspended and David's still recovering from what just happened he doesn't understand what really just happened he's still trying to uh, you know get it back together but that's exactly what I'm talking about. It makes the principal look good because he said, like the zero to tolerance policy says, this is that both students were fighting and so that he has the right to suspend the both and he can just say I was following the policy and then that's the end of that and it, makes, it just makes him look good because you know he was following the school rules. Now it, the zero tolerance policy is really, really, it is not a good thing. It even affects little, li like littler kids. You've seen this all over the internet, I'm sure. That kid has a little pop tart that he shaped it into like a gun. It was not even really a gun. It was more of like a, it was just like a geometric shape that he picked it up and he was acting like it was a gun. But the school rules and his school said that if a gun is being, or if a object is being used as a weapon, you have to treat it as such. So they treat it as actually if he had a gun and that kid, his life is ruined. That's on his record forever. You know, he's in a ton of trouble and he's never gonna be able to change that because he was such a little kid and he was just messing around, didn't know what he was doing and that is going to stain him forever. So obviously the zero tolerance issue is really really bad and it needs changed but it's hard to do that. And the zero tolerance policy needs to be changed. You can't make every kid nice. Like that's just the cold hard facts. You can't make every single kid uh, you know a good kid. It's just not ever going to be like that. There's been bad kids since the beginning of time. But what you need is a system that punishes the bully and not necessarily the kid who's being picked on. So like I said, that point that I was trying to drive home is all starts from the parents. Let's say a kid gets in trouble at school and he has to, several times he has to go to counseling. He should go to counseling, but also his parents should come in for a little bit of parent counseling and see what's going on in their home life and what they can do to improve it. Now, I, I get that this would be kind of hard to get parents to agree to this sort of thing, you know, because like pride issues and stuff, but the parents that would, I think this would definitely help them uh, treat their kid with a little bit more respect, treat themselves with more respect, and their kid would be a better kid, not ser not 
he's not going to be a better kid if you just give him detention after detention after detention because you all know what happens. You've seen, if you're in high school by now, the kids who used to get detention all the times in middle school and elementary school, they haven't changed, have they? They're still, they still act the same as they did back then. Like, they're still bad kids. I mean, most of them are anyway. I think some kids have changed. But I think since it all starts with the parents, I think parents need a little bit of counseling. And after that counseling, we need to change this, the zero tolerance policy. It needs to be a more closely watched system that is, uh, you know, like situational. If, like, going back to that example that I gave, um, when David gets punched, if everybody saw him get punched and he did nothing about it, and there's so many eyewitnesses, then David should not get in any trouble at all. If they have so many witnesses to say that he was, he didn't even see it coming. He wasn't defending himself. He was literally just sitting there, and you know he got punched, and so he should not get in any trouble whatsoever. But the kid who punched him should. So that is the solution that I have for that. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you have any other solutions, please leave them down below in the comments. I would love to hear them. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy this, please give this a like. Uh, rate the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be doing the videos like this just every once in a while. If you have a topic that you want me to go over, uh, please let me know. Uh, thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you guys later.